Hello everyone, welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting true crime content. Today we look at a gang who have been sentenced to a combined total of 47 years in prison after they raided a number of high-end stores, including Mont Blanc Shop in Bicester Village and Fraser Hart in Milton Keynes. The men were sentenced at Stoke-on-Trent Crown Court for the offences, including a £400,000 raid on Beavers Brooks in Hanley, Stoke-on-Trent, which were committed between November 2015 and September 2016. Jewellery, including watches, rings, necklaces and other items were stolen from branches of Beavers Brooks, Fraser's Hart, Goldsmiths and independent jewellers in a series of 11 raids described as meticulously planned by the detective running the investigation. Five men received the following sentences for conspiring to commit burglaries. Bogdan Costel Nigu, aged 24 of no fixed address, sentenced to 8 years 2 months. Lon Bukurstinu, aged 24 of no fixed address, sentenced to 8 years. Vasily Daniel Cardos, aged 26 of Hales Owen Street, Rowley Regis, West Midlands, Sentenced to 8 years, 2 months. Silvu Lone Akutarini, aged 20 of no fixed address, sentenced to 8 years, 2 months. Andre Florin Tifu, aged 28 of no fixed address, sentenced to 8 years and 2 months. Lo Chim Karp, aged 19 of no fixed address, sentenced to 6 years and 6 months for aggravated burglary and conspiracy. Detective Chief Inspector Ricky Fields of Staffordshire's Police Force Safeguarding and Investigation, North Team, became involved in the investigation after a branch of Beaversbrooks was raided in the early hours of 10th of March 2016 in Hanley on Stoke-on-Trent. A total of £400,000 worth of watches were stolen during the break-in. Sledgehammers were used to gain entry to the shop and a fire was also set to hamper the efforts of emergency services. DCI Field said the group had set fire to cars and car tyres as well as property as a distraction and also tied industrial cables across roads to block access routes to emergency services in many of their burglaries. The investigating team from Staffordshire Police linked up with officers from several other forces after it was established that raids had also taken place at the following locations. The 21st of November 2015, Fraser Hart in Milton Keynes. The 31st of December 2015, Goldsmiths in Oxford. The 9th of February 2016, Christian Jewellers, Lancashire. 10th of March 2016, Beaversbrook, Stoke-on-Trent. The 7th of April 2016, Beaversbrooks, Basingstoke, Hampshire. The 20th of June 2016, Breitling Store, Bluewater, Kent. 26th of July 2016, Ernest Jones in Portsmouth. The 5th of August 2016, Mont Blanc, Bicester Village, Oxfordshire. 23rd of August 2016, Ernest Jones, Derby. DCI Fields said that the planning that had gone into these crimes were extremely detailed and carefully worked out. We're dealing with a group of individuals who are extremely organised and forensically aware, he said. They went to great lengths and employed an interesting MO in an attempt to avoid detection. DCI Fields said the group could be linked to the Crime Academy in Romania, as several of the members came from the same region of the country and employed similar strategies. The Romanian Crime Academy recruits men and provides a strict code for its members, as well as training in numerous techniques, such as avoiding being followed, as well as understanding forensic evidence. They employed a number of strategies, including cycling to the scenes of their crimes and cordoning off sections of the road to reduce traffic and observers. They also pitched tents, typically two to three miles from the scene of the crime, and buried their waste in a bid to avoid DNA being gathered. This was a highly organised Romanian crime group who, thanks to great partnership working between all forces, we were able to bring to justice. Police officers across the country have worked tirelessly and diligently to achieve this result today in court. I hope the sentences handed out today send out a strong message. Along with other forces, Staffordshire Police will not tolerate such crime in our communities and we will take positive action against those involved. What do you think about today's story? Do you think that these men were trained at some kind of crime school? Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and a share and leave any thoughts or suggestions you have in the comments section. We love to read through them all. And if you're new but enjoy UK true crime content, then subscribe to see when our newest video releases. And as always, stay safe.